Hello everyone, welcome to Rachel Pick Their Yoga. In case we haven't met before, my name is Rachel. Today we're doing a nice full body flexibility practice. I am gonna use my bolster today. If you've got a pillow or cushion of some kind to lay on, that may be very useful. Some space to move is always good too. And let's get started. So we will begin today laying down, and if you want to lay on something, you can. You can also lay flat on your back, and then depending on the size of your pillow or whatever you have to lay on, it may go under your head, it may go all the way to your low back. Maybe your pillow is not that big, and you could place it under your head, maybe your shoulders, maybe the middle of your back. But I want your head to be connected to something. I want your hips to be connected to something. Nothing's really airborne. <laughs> if you'd like to make a diamond shape with your legs to get into the hips, you can add that in too. If you wanna bring your arms out a little wider, or depending on if you're laying on something or not, you might feel a little chest opener. But let's just take a few moments to settle in. To start to let go of our day. Letting your eyes close if you haven't done so already. And without changing your breath, just notice it. Feel your belly moving gently. Well, maybe letting the rest of you be still. Starting to soften. and slow, you can bring some movement maybe into your hands, into your feet. You can start to bring your legs together, bending the knees. And if you are laying on top of something, you can either take it all the way out or we're gonna move it underneath our hips. So if you have a really long pillow, you might wanna turn it so it's a little shorter so that we can have our upper backs, our shoulders, our heads resting on the ground, and then our hips lifted up a little bit. Now, if you don't have any pillow or anything to place under your hips, that's completely fine. We're going to start with our knees bent, our feet planted, and then the right knee is going to come towards the chest. So you definitely don't need to have a pillow under your hips for this, but you can start to hug your right knee in, and maybe you'll send your left leg out long too. If your right foot Feels like taking some ankle circles, circles. Could do a few in either direction. 
And just gently holding your knee and guiding it towards the chest. Ever so slightly. And if you sense your left leg out long, we're going to start to bring it in, bending the knee again. Let your right foot come down and then switch sides. Your left knee can lift up, come towards the chest. Your right leg could go out long too. If your left foot wants to move a little, you might be adding some ankle circles, a few in either direction. And just gently guiding the knee towards the chest. If you sent your right leg out long, you can start to bend it in. And then let your left knee go too, so that you're just have both your knees bent, your feet planted. If you have your hips resting on top of a pillow or something, we're gonna take it out. So we're all laying flat on our backs now. If you wanna keep your feet down, they can stay down. If you wanna hug your knees to your chest, both of them, you could do that as well and maybe add a gentle sway side to side. Give your back a little bit of a massage. We're gonna be coming all the way up onto our hands and knees. So if you wanna roll to one side or rock yourself forwards, either will work. Just come all the way over and into tabletop. If you have a pillow to use today, have it close by. You might take a gentle sway of your hips first. We're gonna be moving into pigeon and we've got a few options. So if you want to start to slide your right leg forwards, you might kind of tip over to the side. You could do 90-90, bend your back leg, bend your front leg, have some nice 90 degree angles with your legs. If you want to have your left leg straight behind you, your right leg in front of you, you can do pigeon like this too. And then if you want to add your pillow underneath your hips, you're gonna slide it underneath. And then you're gonna be lifted higher through the hips, but your back leg straight out behind you your front leg is still bent, and you can decide what you think about this. Lifting the chest up if you'd like. It's kind of forcing you to tip forwards, having the pillow under your hip. So if you did feel good to come onto the forearms, you can do that with or without your pillow. If you'd rather have your pillow under your forearms instead of your hips, you can do that too. But we're just gonna let the upper body get a little bit heavier, a little bit heavier. If it feels good to do so. And then depending on how far you folded forwards, we're gonna start to make our way back up. So you can push into the hands a little bit. There's no real graceful way to come out of this if you have a pillow under your hips. So we are just gonna be switching sides, but taking a moment before we do that in maybe tabletop. Maybe in child's pose. 
you even want to lift up into a downward dog, you could do that too. And then just remember your options. Maybe you're doing 90-90, both legs bent, left leg forwards, maybe pigeon without anything, left leg sliding forwards. And then maybe you're going to get a little bit fancy with a pillow under your hips. It's kind of a different feeling. So if you like it, awesome. And if it's not for you, it's not for you. But you can take a second here, maybe keeping the chest lifted. Maybe you're gonna start to tip forwards over top of your left leg. I'm just allowing the upper body, if it feels good, to get a little heavier, a little heavier, and a little heavier. If you are folding forwards, we can start to make our way back up. And once again, maybe you end up in tabletop or child's pose or even downward facing dog. But just a little bit of movement, if it feels good. Noticing how the hips and glutes are feeling here. And then we're gonna be reaching our arms out and front and finding our puppy dog stretch. I've been really into resting my chin on something. So if you wanna grab your pillow and bring it in front, our hips will stay high, our arms will reach out in front, and then maybe your chest and your chin rest on the mat, or maybe, just your chin rests on something. It's a very nice neck stretch, a very nice shoulder stretch. And it can look a whole lot different than what I am doing. Just bringing your arms out in front, letting your chest and your head get heavy, and taking a few moments to breathe. If you are resting on your chin, we're gonna to start to bring our forehead down. Now you can stay in puppy dog or you can push back and into child's pose, but bringing your forehead either down to your mats, maybe on your arms or your hands or maybe on top of your pillow. is bringing the length back into the neck.
When you are feeling good, to lift your forehead up. You might take a moment in tabletop. Give your hips another sway side to side. And then eventually sitting down, bringing your legs out in front, maybe out long, but you can take an inhale to lengthen through your spine as you exhale. If you would like to fold forward, you can start to tip forward. Bringing the length into the legs. And then just using an inhale to lift again. Bend your knees. If you did straighten your legs, you might give them a hug. Gentle rock side to side. And then starting to lay down on your back. <clears throat> Maybe bringing your knees with you towards your chest. Taking a gentle sway side to side. And then if you'd like to twist, our knees can start to fall over towards the left side first. Maybe reaching your arms out wide, weighing down the shoulders. And then using an inhale to bring your knees, your legs back up. And to the other side when you're ready. Finding your twist with your knees falling over towards the right side. Maybe reaching your arms out wide again. You can use an inhale to lift your legs all the way up out of your twist and maybe one last time, hugging your knees, a couple gentle rocks side to side. And then one leg at a time, you can start to send them out long. Your feet out wide, making your way into Shavasana. And staying here for as long as you have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, namaste.